Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to uh, tumble a bit. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. I was walking to class to the corner at South Red Tracks because there was a Deshund? I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Did not know how to respond. It really just occurred to me that this post is way funnier if you know that, that my dad has a scar on his, le on his face since before I was born. Left there by I had. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a wiener dog. Wiener dog attack. You know what absolutely boggles my mind? That healthy people exist. Generally healthy people. No mental illness, no physical illness, no chronic illness, just healthy. What a life that must be. Hmm. This fucks my head though. There are people who get up and feel awake. And they just go, oh, and do their adult responsibilities without feeling anxious or upset. They just return phone calls, answer calls from unknown numbers, don't procrastinate doing important things until it's like until oh it's a huge problem that makes you cry. That sounds fake. I'm sorry, but Bruce Wayne and Harley Quinzel, Harleen Quinzel, well, being in the same med school and their friends, but no one, not even themselves, are sure or how to get it along. Batman being forced to solve a case with Harley Quinn. You're punished for dropping out of med school. Harley Quinn making the connection between this edgy goth man bat and the edgy goth med student who she suffered all nighters with. Bruce Wayne? It's even funnier to thought of them becoming unlikely friends again and teaming up for missions. So, man, why is a convicted criminal just sitting in your. or the living room? Harley, sipping her tea. I was actually invited. You jealous. is, is bitch. Bruce, it's movie night. Or at least it was going to be until your uncle Zod decides to bring down the wrath of Krypton, Clark. Give him a new hobby that doesn't involve leveling cities. Hey, Brucey! The rest of the Justice League that are only allowed to refer to him as Batman. The heck? <laughs> that. That is funny. I just had a sandwich so good I could only e handle eating half of it, and the rest is gonna go so hard when I get hungry later. Eating the second half of that sandwich itch now, and it's so freaking good. OMG. Frick, they must have laced the sandwich with something with yummy delicious. Oh, that sandwich was so freaking good. I freaking love that sandwich. I think I'm arrow ace. <laughs> That's one heck of a way to find out. Michelle Rodriguez said, as what everyone on the planet is thinking, all the minority, he and Holly, he would think stop selling all the white people's superheroes. Like, make up your own, you know? Oh, I'm saying, what's up with that? Minorities, give us back our rights. White people, Give us back our cartoon characters. Like, what? Sorry, you view uh, us daring to have. Oh, well, it's like Sweet Demon. You view us daring to have any representation in media as taking away from your representation. You've been in media for literally centuries. It's ours for you can turn. Get over yourself. Anyway. I mean, I'm white, but. 
I'm trans and I kind of never see any trans people on media that aren't a joke. Well, nowadays I do, but when I was growing up, I never did. I will still never get it over um, the way Family Guy, I horribly misrepresented the trans community. And they still do. Anyway. Actually, this video is on post. I hate how pre people treat the more the more of, of the ugly duck intel like it's it's don't worry, you'll grow up to be beautiful. No. It was never an ugly ducking because it an ugly duckling because it was never a duck. It was a baby swan. It's a net. It was never ugly to begin with. People only thought it was ugly because they was judging it by their own standards. The moral is that you aren't ugly. Ugly people just don't don't see you as you are. I apparently can't say ugly. <laughs> Cave Johnson here. I've been thinking. We have gay pride and we have gender envy. What other deadly sins can we incorporate? Maybe bisexual sloth, lesbian rat. I'll talk to the lab boys about it. Cave Johnson here. Update: The lesbian and rat project is postponed indefinitely. My condolences to the family of the deceased. Though, let's be honest, they probably had it coming. I don't know, I have a lot of... Uh, of lesbian la uh, rat at here. Don't worry. Our boomer trade is going to be that we cannot recognize deep fakes or AI. I'm calling it. We're going to be like, wow, did you see this? And our grandkids are going to look at the 12 second and hologram we showed them, shrug, and be like, blinks are too regular. I'm going to be treating out some kids who bring rude to a customer service employee on a call, and they'll be like, they weren't breathing. Why are you always wearing that ugly Coca Cola sweatshirt? You have so many nice clothes. That's a sold out teacher's code to Coca Cola. Co okay, am I a Colazama? Now we can shout from their AI into giving us better grades. But your math teachers, but your math teacher seems so weird and incompetent. I thought I was sure she was human. That's AI, weird and incompetent. Let us see, the other guy has fire powers. He can control fire. I have heat powers. I control heat. It's really embarrassing. You keep conflating the two. Now I understand. And you confusing it with the guy who has combustion powers or the guy who has power erratic energy manipulation powers, but not a heat totally different thing. Not even the same in ballpark. You control heat? Does that mean you can control cold as well? What is the extent of your heat manipulation? What? No. My sister controls cold. She can freeze the room solid, or she can take all the cold to- Hey, wait a minute! Sorry about the confusion, and, and folks. It actually, turns out I have cold, cold powers, and my sister has heat powers. Really, this just makes it doubly embarrassing that you, you were confused before the fire guy. Okay, not gonna say it. And again, a coffin is shaped. A coffin has a detachable lid. A casket is rectangular. A casket has a hinged lid. This was ghostwritten by this gruntled vampire. Oh, the animal, oh, the animal doesn't like you, it just tolerates you. So, if that's the most non social organism, I can feel towards you. Isn't that just as special an honor as whatever you think affection means? This this creature with no natural social instincts outside mating allows me to freely interact with it while causing it little stress. It's freaking dope as crap. I'm trying to limit my swearing a little bit here.
<sighs> Let me get the easy princess who loves space and studies constellations. All she wants to do, do is go to the moon one day. Then one day, a mysterious girl shows up and she has this amazing outlook with on life and she's so alluring. Coincidentally, the moon has disappeared from the sky. Please? The moon turned into my girlfriend. That's great, buddy. Oh no. Oh no! I want to write! My hand slipped! Oh. That. That's beautiful. Love that. Alright. Wait. What is this? Bread is basically just flour, yeast, and liquid, right? Gatorade bread. Do you ever have one of those what am I doing with my life life moments? I was a fool. I thought this would be a bad idea. This is the best gosh darn bread I've ever made. It's fluffy. It's chewy. It's got a perfectly crisp cut. The only flavor it has is vaguely sweet. I've already eaten the whole loaf. I can try this as soon as I can. Food trigger warning. Swearing trigger warning. Cast trigger warning. Eating trigger warning. Wow. I was eating a trigger warning, but Gatorade bread! And you gotta remember, this wasn't from a VTuber. How dare you not make- How dare you make a cooking crimes and not be a VTuber? That's like... Illegal, probably. And he was this big! Every Easter death went drinking with his fishing buddies to tell the story of the one that got away. I had a vision I had to put on paper. OP was possessed by Gary Larson. I love how much of the fantasy time tra of time travel is based on the idea of being able to go back and fix your mistakes and pretty much every story about time travel is like, here's how tr time travel ruined everything. I love this guy's temporal fuck up. Ultimate compilation of fails so epic they all just be fabric of reality. Time travel in theory. What if you could magically make everything better with this one simple trick? Time travel when and anyone actually attempts it. Fuck you, you're now personally responsible for every bad thing that has happened to everyone who has been who has ever been alive. Get butterfly affected, idiot. Time travel when they do it right. You didn't change anything. You only made the things that already happened, happen. Like, I'm quite sure that the Dragon of Light somehow existed before, spoiler warning, Zelda uh, traveled back in time. Oh, that's not a spoiler. The What Dragon Light of Light is is a spoiler, but I'm not going to say that. I get the feeling that Zelda traveling back in time did cause a few things, but they were so they were going to happen already because Zelda had already been in the past at one time. <sighs> anyway. Two syllable or compound verbs starting with G that did make the a cut. Gainsay, gate crash, ghost fright, glove trot, goalkeep. Wait, but they did make the cut. Gunfight. Hmm. Gainsay, ghost fright, and gunfight has a really good rhythm to it, though. I don't know what gainsay. I'm looking this up. Hang on. I have to look this up. Deny or contradict a fact or statement. 
You didn't say Ghost Rite Gunfight. Yeah, we need to find a character this would I'd actually work. If you had a t-shirt that had the text, I have a lifetime ban from here, what would be the funniest place to wear it? My favorite response to this in no particular order. Church, hospital, a courthouse, at your own workplace, just generally in public walking down the street, UN headquarters, a store that just has opened literally last week, a store that only sells t-shirts, a morgue, the Vatican. I mean, I kind of want to go to the Vatican and find those secrets that would make the religion finally crumble. Anyway. Hyperfist exciting on this is not enough. I need to eat it. Christians with Jesus Christ. Speaking of religion, why is there a new popular post with a joke about a Eucharist every week on this website? Masses on Sundays. True. I think my favorite bit I do with customers is when white women are like, I don't know what to get. And I hit them with the, you should be bad. Saying you should be bad in gay voice to a white woman at Starbucks has like the same psychological impact as going like, who's a good boy to a dog. It makes them so excited in a really endearing way. Godzilla's inside each one of us. Replies have been turned off for this post. Some replies may have been hidden, blocked, or removed. <laughs> My mom said we can take Slim Straighty down to the abortion clinic and give out free pony rights to the pro life protesters. Your mom sounds like a horrible person, and if you support her, you are as well. Are you pro-life? I'm pro-choice. Slim Shady is anti-life. Look into the horse's eyes. It's going to eat their faces so freaking fast. Her the context is this horse has injured everyone who has tried to ride them. Oh, never mind. I actually love this. Hurting bigots is the best way a, a, a to deal with them. Anyway, I've set a little tray filled with water on a towel for cat enrichment. The water are two plastic bottle caps filled with floating treats. Wasabi would not touch wet, and she would do anything for treats, and she is conflicted. She soaked water for 20 minutes and almost touched water twice, but no further attempts have been made. This is a developing story. Update, I slipped on a tray and hit my head. Having cats is a, is a never ending wally iodi slash rogue run under situation. You never know which one you are until it's too late. Open image a new tab. They have this super cool world link project. It's got elves and magic and swords and no, don't leave yet. I know it sounds like I read a world building project, but trust me, this one is super cool. Anyway, I want to make it into a graphic novel, but I can't draw. Basically, the story I had in mind was that there's a super cool, old, cool guy named the Buskris, and he's a warrior, and he needs to find his lot a smoking hot girlfriend and five pages worth of lore that has absolutely nothing to do with these commission. I want to look like this, image of a hyper-detailed, hyper-realistic manga drawing. No, I don't have a script, no, I don't have an outline, I was thinking I could make it, it up as I went along. But I've been working on this cough day droop, about working on this since I was 13 years old. So I have tons of lore. I want it to be 500 pages, also I'm broke, so I won't actually pay you, but you'll get 20% of all the hundreds of thousands of dollars that this completely original, amazing thing will totally take again. Could you do that for me? I swear I get a brand new one of these guys in my DMs every single week! Yeah... How many words are there for no freaking way? I must not have to nap. 
Afternoon nap is mind color. Afternoon nap is a little death of free total obliteration. I will face my afternoon sleepy tired and permit it to pass over and through me. When it has gone, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. When your afternoon sleepy tired has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Listen, I love getting to be roommates, but I insist that you let me redecorate. <laughs> what do you mean, why? Your mattress is on the floor! Well, it's working fine for him. But his bed was never on the floor. I do think that um, the weapon displays are, well, actually, were pretty not aesthetically pleasing in comparison to what Zelda did with the place. Bro, I freaking love the ADV Cooper case. Nothing about this whole situation sounds real. None of the passengers on the plane realized they were being hijacked until the plane and land two hours after it was supposed to, and the FBI showed up, up with the suitcases full of money. The note about the bomb almost went unnoticed because the flight attendant thought she was being sexually harassed, so she didn't read it. One of the main suspects was the first trans woman in Washington to have a sex change operation. A reporter who was so dead set on his suspect that he brought. And um, the court was so upset about being wrong that he went catatonic and was treated with electroshock therapy and it worked. There has been multiple IMDb e. Cooper death codes confessions. He never even said his name was D.B. Cooper. Either he got away with a million bucks in today's money and the most iconic and harm harmless crime in American history, or he impaled himself on a pine tree while falling a zillion miles an hour in the dark while clutching duffel bags full of cash. Either option is equally hilarious. He wore a clip on tie. He committed an act of sky piracy. What in the freaking Looney Tunes? Anyway, I think that's enough Tumblr for today. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow, I plan on going over something a little bit spooky because... Spooky. It's June. Get spooky. I did not get there. Actually, never mind. I have to find something. Just give me a minute. I just remembered something from... I remember seeing like yesterday. <sighs> Here it is. Okay, we aren't done yet. We got one more, then we're done. It's Halloween! Time to get spooky! It's the middle of June! It's Halloween, time to get spooky. Okay, who the frick got this on my dash? It's still June! Get spooky. How does this appear every June? Look. It's a fried spooky skeletons. I don't think they're actually in the right color format or whatever, but they're colorful, they're spooky. It's a fried spook. Okay, now. We can end the video. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you tomorrow with something I don't know what. Until then, goodbye!